Good morning, happy February 19th, and welcome back to the Leaf Riders of Renwood, where we have gone down into the tunnel that was made in the throne room, and we have confronted a couple bugs that we found down there, and we overheard them talking about their king and that they had accomplished their mission. So let's see if we can learn a little bit more what that's about. We will go ahead and tear this off. And we have Monday, February 19th, 2024, which is Moon's Day of Snow Send and is President's Day and Family Day. Okay. And yeah, it looks like we are actually exploring the, the tunnel system that we have found. And something I did uh, right after the recording yesterday... Um, that I didn't bother recording because I just wasn't sure if it was going to end up being relevant, but I now very much think it is based on this, uh, this page. So there were those symbols that I pointed out, those kind of glyphs, um, in the art yesterday. And each of them seemed to be a kind of a lowercase letter with a, a glyph. And so I, I wrote them down, uh, here on my notes page. Um, there we go. And... Um, looking at this one, there are clearly a couple of those in this as well. So I think what's going to happen at some point is that there is going to be a, uh, you know, these symbols will be somewhere, and then I will uh, be able to translate them into a message. So I think this will be a cipher. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly note down these other ones here. So we've got kind of like an upside down F vaguely, and that is an I. And then we've got a, oh man, I don't even know what to call that one. For whatever reason, it's making me think of a stapler, even though that's not really what it looks like. I'm not sure why it's making me think of a stapler, but I guess that's what I'll call it. And that's an M. Okay. So there we go. So I'm just going to kind of keep those noted somewhere. And then let's go back to our page with tack here. There we go. And we may as well erase this, because it is no longer the 17th of February. And yeah, we'll see where that comes. I guess uh, we've gotten five letters over uh, two days, so you know it may be like a full week or, or maybe a little more before we get the whole cipher, but we'll see when that ends up coming into play. So that's kind of fun. That's the kind of first like puzzle-type thing we've found. Uh, or that we've even that we've seen in this, so that's fun. Okay, so let's go ahead and read what it says. It must have taken a long time to dig this. The tunnel contains more than just a single long hallway. Explore and take revenge on the insects that trespassed into the city. Okay, so we begin at the X and navigate around the map. Visit each numbered area along your path. Explore and resolve each area you visit before you choose your next. Okay. Well, we're at the X, so I think we may as well just go to area number one. Okay. So area one. This chamber contains a vertical shaft leading straight up. What do you know about tunneling? Okay, well, let's find out what we know about tunneling. So we need to make a D20 plus intellect roll. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, 14 is pretty good. So we are minus 1 for intellect, so down to 13. All right, if the result is 11 or more, a shaft like this connects the tunnel to the surface, allowing fresh air to circulate. You wonder why no one above in the city noticed or reported this hole. It does help to orient you a bit in the tunnel. Write down tunneling knowledge for further use. Okay. So we've got tunneling knowledge here seems like it could be useful. Go ahead and write that down right here. Tunneling knowledge. There we go. All right. So at least they've got some air circulating. I'm still, you know, I'm sure it's not great, but at least they have that. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and follow this over to area number four. Okay. 
you enter an area with sturdy wooden pillars placed strategically to reinforce the tunnel's surface. You spot an insect scurrying around behind a post. It spots you as well. Before you can question it, it leaps to attack you with a pickaxe. Okay. We got a, a quick little combat here. So let's go ahead and roll our attack. Okay. Well, that's a natural one. So we definitely miss. Now let's go ahead and roll our... Um, no real reason to roll damage. We can't even roll a boon. So let's just str uh, go straight to our defense. Which is a 16. And we add 4 for a 20. So... At least, hopefully, we're only taking partial damage. And the enemy has a defense of 14, so we definitely don't hit that. It had a health of 5, it has an attack of 13, and then it has par or standard damage of 2 and partial damage of 1. Okay, so we do manage to block its hit, but we, we kind of got surprise attacked there. So we're going to go down from 12 to 11 health. Hopefully we'll find like a healing potion in here, because we are we are losing health. Okay. <clears throat> so that was number four. So now we have some options. We can go down to six or we can go up to two or three. Um, and I mean I guess really from our perspective it's go left to two and three or go right to six. Let's go ahead and go to six first, why not? Okay. You notice signs of an imminent collapse. Find a safe spot. Roll a d20 plus wisdom, and we can use the danger sensibility if we had it, but we don't. If you have tunneling knowledge written down from earlier, we can gain a plus two bonus to this roll. Okay. Well, that's something. All right, so d20 plus wisdom. All right, so that's a 16, and we're plus zero there, and then we get to add two, so we are at 18. If the result is 11 or more, you react swiftly and find a secure spot, avoiding the collapse entirely. Ah, lovely. Okay. And now let's go up to number two. This portion of the tunnel has collapsed, blocking the path ahead. You must find an alternate route or clear the debris to proceed. To remove the debris, roll a d20 plus strength. If you have tunneling knowledge written down from earlier, gain a plus two bonus to this roll. Okay. So we'll definitely try to clear those rocks. And we have our pet that we can use to, our critter that we could use to add some strength if we feel like that would be helpful. Okay, so we rolled an 11. And so that brings us to a 13. And, ah, nice. Okay, so if the result is 13 or more, you move some rocks aside and clear a small area where you can crawl through to the chamber on the other side. Okay, perfect. Our tunneling knowledge really paying off there. All right, and then we've got number three. This small area was used for storing mining equipment and supplies. Search the site. Roll a d20 plus intellect. If you have tunneling knowledge written down from earlier, gain a plus two bonus to this roll. Okay, well, yes, let's go ahead and investigate. So our intellect is minus one. Wow, we've rolled, uh, is that our third 16 today? <laughs> we've rolled a lot of 16s, I feel like. Maybe it's just our second. Uh, regardless, that is a 16. So we are minus 1 for our intellect, but we're plus 2 for our tunneling knowledge. That brings us to 17. Among the uh, So if the result is 11 or more, among the old and rusted mining tools, you discover 3 amber. Okay. We go up to 14 monies, which is nice. I imagine we will be able to spend this once we are back in the palace. Okay. All right, so that was number three, so now we have number five. Area five. This seems like an important place to stop and search. You may stop here now or continue to explore and return here when you're done. Okay. So we have fairly successfully explored the tunnels. We, we didn't do well in our combat, but that's all right. And yeah, maybe we are going to see the king that would be cool or maybe we'll learn about what their long-term plan is i suppose we will have to wait to find out on a future day so until then thank you so much for watching and have a great day